Okay, hello everyone. So today's lecture we're going to see about OpenStack in today's lecture. Okay, so OpenStack may as you can see here, uh, OpenStack is dashboard there. Okay, then compute networking and storage. So OpenStack uh, share services. Okay, so this is about uh, the diagram of OpenStack. So let's discuss uh, in detail. So OpenStack. OpenStack control large pool of compute, storage, and networking resources, all managed through APIs dashboard, which you can see in diagram. You can diagram the dashboard say API is managed. Okay, okay. Means uh, resources, storage, networking. Is jitni bhi services hai, wo kiske through? Or yeah, you can say means. Jo bhi uh, large pools of compute hai, storage for the networking resource, all managed. Sketch through by a dashboard, which you can see diagram in the diagram, right? So, beyond the uh, standard infrastructures, I, I mean, I ask, like infrastructure as a service, functionality, functionality uh, additional uh, additional component provides, uh, means, so here, fault management and services management among uh, uh, amongst the other services to sure highly availability of user applications. So what is OpenStack used for? So what is OpenStack? OpenStack is an open source. Uh, we ha have studied open source, closed source, and free open source in my well, means in previous year, first year in uh, free and open source uh, subject only. So you can say that OpenStack is an open source hmm? uh, platform that used to provide virtual resources to build and manage private cloud and public cloud. So what is it? Private or public cloud to build and manage and manage and manage OpenStack what does it provide? What does it use? It pull the virtual resource. So OpenStack is an open source platform that uses pull the virtual resources to build and manage the private and public cloud. The tools that come that OpenStack platforms call project handle the core cloud computing services of compute, networking, storage, identity, um, images, services. So what are the um, main component of OpenStack? So here, OpenStack, the main component, so here, core component of OpenStack are, you can say compute, okay, object, identity, dashboard, block, storage, computer, services, okay. So these are the component. You can see here, uh, com what? Dashboard main component of you know, compute, block, block storage, networking, storage, okay. So these are the component of uh, OpenStack. Just for me, let me, object storage, then which is, you can see in diagram only, identity, then dashboard, then block storage, network and Im image services. So these are the component of, of OpenStack. So let's discuss. So you can say seven core components of OpenStack are compute, uh, like compute, object, uh, storage, identity, dashboard, block storage, network, and images service. So what are the features of Open Cloud? So Open Cloud, uh, OpenStacks offer ultimate core storage, pull and support the block in, input output from variety of vendors as well as uh, object file storage. It's built in storage management, automatically recovers uh, failed devices, all nodes, replication, and ensures coding with the uh, chip uh, provides strong data integrity. So, so just one minute. So here, 
Okay, so here, who use OpenStack? The, in, uh, you can say the largest mobile telecom network is uh, powered by the OpenStack, including workloads like 5G, China mobiles, okay, uh, telecom network has more than 800 million uh, subs uh, subscriptions and 3 million base stations. China Mobile is uh, now building up the biggest NFA, NFB network based on OpenStack with the more than 5,000 servers in network. So, in open, uh, is OpenStack a uh, private cloud? Uh, OpenStack is an open source private cloud platform designed to manage distributed compute network and storage resource in data center. So what is OpenStack framework? OpenStack Okay. So OpenStack is a collection of open source you know very well, uh, software modules and tools. It provides framework to create uh, the ma and manage both public and private clouds infrastructure. And other OpenStack components provide, um, okay. So here, services independent to support uh, high ability operations. So which is the most important component in OpenStack? So Nova. Okay, so Nova as the most basic and at the same time, the most complex uh, component of OpenStack, Nova communicate with virtualization tool and manage and certain management and removal of virtual machines via API, application programming interface. So is OpenStack uh, IS or pass. So what is the open stack? Is IaaS or pass? So OpenStack is a free open standard cloud computing platform. So it mostly developed as IaaS. Okay. Because it is a what is a free open standard cloud computing platform. So it depends on IaaS infrastructure as a service in both public and private clouds where virtual servers and other resources are made. So what the language does OpenStack use? So here Python language, OpenStack started out with only Python. Uh, so batteries included op operator friendly, highly access, okay, highly reliable and easy to uh, learn language. So over time, we added you know, Bash and JavaScript, which both address slightly different uh, problem spaces. Where Python was either uh, sub pointable system scripts or not available in browser execution. So why is OpenStack IaaS? IaaS, right? So OpenStack is a open source software platform for provide cloud and public cloud. Okay, so it provide the private and public cloud. So as a infrastructure service um, platform, OpenStack is able to com companies to easily and, uh, easily and uh, efficiently as a server storage and networking component to their cloud. So is OpenStack is a OS operating system. So OpenStack is a cloud operating system that control large pool of compute or storage and network networking resources. So throughout a uh, data center, all management and provision through API with common authentication mechanism. So is there uh, any open source cloud? So OpenStack, OpenStack, uh, which is a platform create private cloud or the enterprise infrastructure is a popular choice. It provides the same core types of cloud services, such as public cloud, including compute storage. Uh, okay. So function and container, all the code behind this service is open source. So OpenStack component, what are the major components of OpenStack? So there is a seven components that is the object, identifier, dashboard, blackboard. Uh, so OpenStack. Um, OpenStack is a, now see this diagram, is a, OpenStack is a large open source project and there are many separate components in this project. So uh, here I explain the main component of OpenStack. So let's see this uh, one by one here, compute. 
Nova, this all component let's discuss. Okay. So Nova. As the most basic and at the same time the most complex component of OpenStack, Nova communication with virtualization tools and manages the certain management and removal of virtual machines so via API. Nova component runs in the background on Linux servers, helping virtualization technologies such as KVM, VMware, Hyper-V, Linux container technologies such as uh, LXD and OpenStack component to performing their tasks. So um, the identity service uh, keystone for authentication inter uh, interact extensively with service such as image service glance, which is used to create instance virtual server created in OpenStack and ho Horizon dashboard or panel service for end user. So sweep, second component is sweep. Uh, so sweep object storage uh, component of OpenStack is a scalable and distributed storage system. Uh, you can st uh, store, uh, store your files, videos, images, virtual machines, backups, and other unstructured data in sweep. Okay, so this is a used to store uh, storage purpose. So with the help of Sweet API, you know very well API meaning the application programming interface. So you can uh, send or receive data over HTTP. Sweet ensures that it stores the copies where storing data does prevent data loss by using the copy versions when problem occurs in the servers. So Cinder. So, Cinder is it is a block storage of service open stack uh, providing virtual storage for virtual machines in the system. So these virtual storage areas are keep separate. Okay. So here this uh, are keep stay separate here. Mm, so for this purpose, the data, even when the server is deleted, user can add or expand a new ODX space to virtual machine running on horizontal interface. So glance. So glance also you can see in diagram only in the on screen. So glance is an image service of OpenStack, provides the management of DIX images. These images are used as a template for newly installed server. Glance also receives backup of servers and it can create new servers with the receive copies. It can uh, back up different types of storage, but generally use OpenStack object storage. Glance service support raw, a key, ME, ARI, ISO images format. Like this is are the images format. Okay, so uh, which I said now a key, ME, I, and ARI. ISO so, so it support the EP image format. So Glance is used to provide management of these images and these images are used in templates for newly installer server. So it also receive backup of server but it can create new servers and we receive copies. Okay, so it can back uh, back up different types of storage. Okay, so Keystone. So Keystone also uh, in, uh, in this diagram only you can see uh, so it is the authentication and authorization system of OpenStack. All OpenStack components use Keystone services to query which user are author authorized to the uh, to use the cloud services. The Keystone unit support many methods, including username, password information, or uh, token based authentication. So to verify the um, yeah, to verify it can integrate with a system with LDPA. So Horizon, the Horizon service provides a web-based user interface for many operations. This interface makes it easy to create instance, security setting, network setting, and so on. So Horizon is used to for the settings of for the setting purpose. Okay, like security, networking, uh, and uh, okay, and create the instance. So what about me? New neutrons. So neutrons, uh, it is the network service within the OpenStack 
it enables the management of virtual uh, networks and structure in cloud, such as subnet, routers, firewall, VPN. Window default user can create their networks and connect it with different networks. So, Celimeter, so Celimeter allows the co collections of data uh, generated by OpenStack services. This data can be used for process such as customer involving and system monitoring. So, this is about a UI um, diagram, diagram uh, the work of compute, block storage, networking, image services. Okay, so here given is a Nova is used to compute the, the cylinder is used to storage purpose. Then here for networking license for image purpose, we are using Swift are using to store the objective like data and all. Okay, so keystones, just I said about this is the key uh, here. Right, so keystone. Okay. So Keystone is the authorization, the authentication system of OpenStack. All OpenStack components use Keystone services to query which user are authorized to use the cloud service. Okay. So this is about the this diagram. So let's discuss benefits of OpenStack using cloud computing. Okay. So benefits of OpenStack. So here. Okay. So this is another part. So let's discuss about benefits. So you can see scaling is easier than ever. Rule the clouds through authentication authentications, open platform, allow fast development, benefits of huge community tips, documentation expert uh, experience. So let's discuss. So benefits of OpenStack using cloud. How OpenStack uh, works and uh, okay, you should have cloud of this platform. So there are many uh, open source projects in IT world. So and other they and others are cropping up daily. So just a few of them make it up uh, the level where even multi uh, multinationals groups and companies being the respect them. So scaling. It is easier than ever. Easier than ever. So scaling, elast elasticity or flexibility, whatever the name, scaling. You can say electricity. You can say flexibility. You can say well, whatever the name. It has been an important uh, argument for cloud adoption. In uh, you can say it is a way adjust your computing capacity to the demand of particular task. Does your website have a spike in visitors? A particular uh, heart? Do you need to do something run a server demanding the um, calculation at once? Or are you in charge of a web-based app that is mostly used during the uh, dinner, uh, din dinner, means dinner time also? So where a physical server will be for short or break Cloud can keep up with the demand and provide the virtual server with the more resources. So OpenStack makes this process easier. It is designed to be ready for scaling and it does not matter whether that's scaling up or down. It also designed to be ready for infrastructure. Okay, and not being for always available or um, parts of it outright failing. So, and it makes uh, uh, admin job easier. Creating another instance happens at the drop of hat. So, deleting them uh, when they are not needed is just uh, as a cue. So, when a company uses cloud based OpenStack, it can depend on it adjusting its demands quickly. So, it does the event matter. If a company uh, wants to run five instance or five thousand instance, OpenStack can do it all. So second is a run uh, run the cloud through uh, automatizations. So OpenStack offer admins of powerful tools um, that can make managing a cloud breeze. Many of uh, our usual headless can be automated. It is an application program interface. 
ओके सो और एपीए यस ओके सो इस एपीआई कंप्लीट द कंट्रोल ओवर द क्लाउड थ्रू द प्रोग्राम दिस मेक इट इजी टू बिल्ड ऑन ऑन ओपन दैट कैन फॉर इंस्टेंस फायर अप अनदर वर्चुअल मशीन सो the simplified development or specify app the friendly api certain makes development faster which can make it cheap cheaper overall okay so open platform allow fast development okay this one so one of the largest advantages open stack has is the fact that it's open platform because the source code is uh, publicly available the development of the platform has been expert from all around the world teachings in this uh, also mean that openstack is not a child of specific company that cloud use it as license to print uh, many because of the lack of competition even through the IT industry like Intel, IBM, Dell taking part in the developing OpenStack. Any company or startup can bring out its own products based on the platform. So it is similar system to Linux. There are many different distributions of the operations system, each with its own features, even though they mostly share the same code. So. many companies offer their own versions of openstack modules even though the basic source code is free these distributions are usually paid expert argue this makes it perfect building group of in for innovations so everyone starts from the same code and needs to show uh, creativity and come up with something and new and better than offer their clients so thanks to code being open any anyone can try open stack to their own if it does not exactly what people need they can code desired function themselves and share its own other things in the case of um, software they would have to wait for other original developers to add the features so in themselves which might not happen for long time or ever case for every specific uh, need so in uh, so you can say instead uh, so here instead anyone can code their own solution themselves this allows cloud solution to move forward at quick pace so the development is uh, uh, therefore very quickly open stack or foundation that is running the ship purchase out so the most recent one was uh, you can say version of the platform so far so well version of platform is so far here benefits of huge community community tips documentations and experience so because of open stack is open platform it can be uh, about the great number of users and developers all over the world so similarly uh, to linux it has manage to do something most open source project, uh, dream about so it has usually uh, successfully built a community around it so according to the newest data the development has been helped along by more than 4000 developers so advantages for business ready made open stack everyone can run open stack on their hardware however as some uh, observe means um, observers uh, have suggest doing to might not be quite simple so it does not require some uh, professionals there are there's need an expert okay so experts are used are in the short supply on the jobs market so they can charges their own weight in gold 
So that's why the base solution for some companies might be buying ready to go open stack clouds. All the complicated process of starting up your copy of platform are taken care by qualified term of uh, providers. So margins the cloud can uh, then be done even by administrator who have no previous experience with OpenStack. After they get more experience with platform, they can try building it on their own. So this solution is quite useful for small companies. So they're already very busy. I mean, will have an easier time a migration into a cloud run OpenStack. And if company can very quickly benefit from the OpenStack platforms. So OpenStack cloud can be expensive. So cloud computing is usually considered to be expensive affair, but it does not have to be. OpenStack cloud can be acquired quite on the cheap. Building a cloud on OpenStack is a perhaps not completely simple. Some experts even propose the, that this is a, uh, should be pursued only by bigger companies who can spare the people to build and develop the cloud. So, but there is a still a uh, way for small and medium size companies to be form open stacks. So they can do this uh, through uh, renting already made cloud from cloud vendors. So you can take a cloud, vendor, cloud from cloud vendor as per rent. As, okay. So this means the company does not have cover of building configuration and completing the platform. It does, uh, it done the provider who can divide this experience among these uh, many customers. Therefore making it much cheaper for all the team by providing same quantity service. Okay, so all such customer can get working OpenStack cloud quickly and very cheaply masters instance offers basic OpenStack cloud for less than dollar per day. Okay, so this is about benefits of OpenStack, so great industry support. So back, uh, back in 2010, OpenStack was formed by NASA as a platform for a uh, following organization to provide free and open source cloud computing service running on standard communities hardware. So since it uh, gains IT industry such as IBM, internal Red Hat, okay. So have uh, plagued their support and provided investment for developers. Hence OpenStack has thriving community of developers that collaborate with the users design and platform based suit for any business need. So see, okay, security here. Security is on OpenStack cloud. It is not unlike security any other IT infrastructure. It requires high set of tools and skill and good understanding of security. In OpenStack, high level of security can be achieved through role based on access control. Access and resource utilization can be controlled a uh, level of user rules and projects. So easy to manage panel. OpenStack has control panel that provide visibility control and easy access to power management tools. Thus making it very easy for users, monitors and manage their cloud services and allowing users and administrators to have clear overview for management of resource uses and currently active VM instance. So OpenStack test drive. So this is a diagram of OpenStack test drive here. Nova, Neutron, Cylinders, Compute, Storage. We have studied in component. This is a part of components. So here Nova again there, let's discuss. Okay. Okay, so Dave, or stack lets you interact with uh, OpenStack on small scale. And that's a represent of much large deployment. You can quickly uh, de deploy or stack as like OpenStack call. So components and evaluate for them for production use this case. So Dev stack helps you deploy the same OpenStack component found in large 
multi server environment on single server so which can be you in diagram so without knowing great deal about open stack uh, and without a uh, need for bunch of hardware you can use dev stack to get open stack experience just on a smaller scale so the figure show several components including cylinder no cylinders nova neutron which you can see in this figure only deploy and arbitrary number of nodes open stack uses uh, yeah, for the components so that condom names cylinder refers to storage component nova to compute the component neutron to network component and at this point not important that you know open stack component right so this is about you are open stacks okay so now today's lectures over here okay thank you